Hey guys, it's PK. Welcome back to another gem editor tutorial. Today I'm going to describe about the basic hotkeys that you guys should know when using the editor. This hotkeys will prove useful when mapping and scripting. So watch the video carefully and try to remember when mapping or you can note down the hotkeys that I will explain. So first we're gonna bring up an actor so you have to remember this is an actor and um, and this is an entity okay so this is a game entity and this is an actor so the first hotkey that you guys should know is how to rotate an entity or an actor so press C on your keyboard and move the mouse left or right. You can do it for an actor or an entity, anything. So press C, keep pressing C on your keyboard and then move the mouse left or right. So this is the way you can rotate an object. So all these things are object, all right? We're gonna uh, use the word object. Okay, so press C, but in order to move the object left or right, you can rotate it using the C on your keyboard. So that's one. Next one is S. S is used to enlarge or make objects smaller. So when, by pressing or selecting the object, keep I press S on your keyboard and then move the mouse left or right. All right. So, for example, now you want to uh, bring this one back to its original size. How you will do that? Because you don't know the size. You don't know the exact size. All right. So, for that, all you have to do is go to the properties on the right side. On the right panel and locate scale and on scale select it and then press 1 on your keyboard and press enter so this will bring the object back to its original size same goes for entities if you want to bring it back to its original size all you have to do is go to scale and press 1 and the object will return to its original size so s is for enlarging or making objects smaller on the map this is useful when creating a map not scripting a mission because uh, when you are making a forest or boxes or an object and you want to uh, congest things make things interesting make more details to the object for example like this and uh, yeah this is <laughs> not a not a good example but yeah s is used to enlarge or make object smaller next we have uh, the a button on our keyboard a and that is used to make objects uh, rise up or down into the ground so you have to Keep pressing A. If you don't, if you pray, press A once and then move the mouse, nothing will happen. Keep pressing A and then move the mouse up and down in order to make the object go up and down. Alright? So if you want to bring it back to its original state, all you have to do is go to properties again and here on Z select a Z and press 0 on your keyboard and press enter this will take the object back to its natural state or natural position so go up or down locate Z in position press 0 on your keyboard and then it will get back to its original position alright next we have the X on our keyboard the X button X button is used to rotate an object or change the 
axis you can move it in any way you want so like uh, tank destroyed so this way or tilting down tilting up anyway and if you wanna uh, move it back to its original state all you have to do is go to uh, the properties locate X form and on inside X form locate Y press select Y press 0 on your keyboard and it will get back to its original state right so remember X is used to change the axis of an object and if you want to get back to its original state locate Y select it and press 0 and this will get back to its original state all right so that is a s c x now control t what is control t used for control t is used to add tags to an object it can be an actor or a game entity so control t uh, tags of selection you can add tags so this is a tank and that is all that is a house control t right house press enter or add all right now that is control t control t is to add tags but now you want to see the tags that you have added how to see that simple alter t alter t is to toggle tags on and off alter t press alter t again to toggle it off alter t again to toggle it on so you can see that the tag objects by pressing alter t so control t is to add tags alter t is to toggle tags on and off this will be very much helpful when scripting missions all right not making maps tags are used to script missions uh, where you can script certain things and certain entities or objects or actors will act uh, by adding tags when you are scripting all right so that goes the tag option next uh, if you press alter w without selecting anything press alter w twice and this will open up the polygon line section you can see the polygon lines what is this thing useful for what is this thing useful for well let me explain it to you for example go to land or press 2 on your keyboard select polygons right then select wireframe so if by selecting wireframe this will toggle the polygon lines on so now you can see the polygon lines uh, go to level select any of the level the higher you go the more sharper your land will be when you uh, shrink the land or make them uh, go up let me show you explaining is not a good idea so showing it to you will be best so select 5 now remember if you don't have a high-end PC I suggest you strongly not to use polygons because polygons require a very high-end PC otherwise your game might crash due to memory loss all right don't tell me that I didn't warn you I'm warning you if you don't have a high-end PC do not use the polygon section or anything related to polygons polygons require very high system all right so this is I'm using polygons look at the squares it shrank so now go to heights and we want to make a trench over here go to fixed height and select negative 20 watch the video carefully now where did I add the polygons the smaller lines so I don't know so press alter W twice here you can see the polygon lines now 
you guys know how to shrink or enlarge this circle right uh, plus and minus on the numpad or all right plus and minus on the numpad so now you know you are seeing the polygon lines now do your work see done you know otherwise you could have gotten here and then it would have been a mess look at that because you now you know where the polygon lines are you can work with this maybe you have seen on my uh, previous live streams that I used this system to make manual trenches so alter W press twice to bring up the polygon uh, line section where you can see what the polygon lines are uh, the smaller ones or the bigger ones or the default ones these are for basic uh, uh, these are basic tutorials sorry basic stuff for beginners well some of these are advanced that I explained it but um, this does not fall onto the advanced category so I think uh, this will make things easier for mappers who are new to use the polygon section because I know a lot of the uh, experienced mappers will also be watching this video so I hope some things might help you guys all right so we did um, C to rotate let's recap a to move objects up and down X to change object axis then uh, we have uh, S to enlarge and make objects smaller and or in order to get back things to normal for example um, changing when you're using the X to change the axis of an object uh, go to X form go to Y press 0 you're done enlarging go to scale press 1 object will get back to its normal state and when going up and down go to position press Z select 0 done control T to add tags alter T to toggle tags on and off and alter W to see the polygon menu or polygon lines sorry not menu polygon lines I'm sorry for that making tutorials and explaining it to everyone is very difficult I'm not a teacher and I don't have any skill of being a teacher like one two three stealth bomber but I hope you guys will understand by watching the video that what I am doing so this video is about hotkeys and I think I have explained the basic hotkeys when mapping or scripting that is C S A X Alter T, Control T, Alter W. Another one there is uh, when you select an object, for example, you want to bring up its inventory in this state. How you, how do you do that? Well, otherwise you have to select it, press I in order to bring up the inventory. But you cannot add stuff over here. You cannot. You can just see the inventory. But in order to add stuff into an inventory select the object press U on your keyboard go to inventory or press 7 and this will open up the inventory and from the right panel you can add stuff for example uh, select and drag if you select and drag you will add a lot of stuff but if you want to place only one all you have to do is double click on the object on the right side and this will place only one stuff onto the inventory of anything anything for example if you wanna add um, let me say alright let's open up the boxes let's explain so that uh, some of you guys might find it easier so for example this is a box press U go to inventory now you wanna add some stuff into this box so for example weapon now this is W for weapon, A for ammo, S for stuff. So weapon. We want to add the Gewehr 41. If you drag it, then 50 Gewehr 41s will be added. But if you 
double click uh, one single gear will be added one at a time see so I want to add the gear 41 and some ammo so ammo um, how do I add ammo so the, the gear 41 uses 7.92 Mauser rounds. So we have to locate for 7.92 Mauser rounds. I think I already explained this on one video where how to edit an uh, unit's NTR inventory. I made a video about it, but no problem. I'm explaining it. 7.92 Mauser rounds. Now you don't want to double click on ammo because you want to drag ammo. Do not double click, you just drag the ammo section only All right so this is how you use the U on your keyboard this is also part of the basic hotkey U is very important by pressing U open up the inventory and then add stuff on the object or soldier or tank or an entity so this this was the basic hotkeys uh, let me know if i missed anyone i will explain it to you on the next video but i think these are the basic ones i don't see any other ones that you guys will need when mapping or scripting so this is the most common ones that i use every time when i make maps i'm honest this is the most used ones that i use every day when I make maps and to be honest I make maps every day that's why I upload very fast so thank you guys for watching today's tutorial video I know it's a bit long but I tutorial videos should be long in order for everyone to see and understand the things that I'm explaining I'm showing so that you guys can understand Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Actually, Noah, hope this tutorial will be helpful to you guys. If it does, let me know on the comment section. Leave a comment, right? And if it does, also leave a like. Let me know that it worked for everyone. Everyone got to know a lot more about the editor. How to make a map, how to script a mission. Slowly, this month, there will be lots and lots of tutorials. Smaller, bigger every type of tutorials and maybe on, on one tutorial I'll explain about only one thing that will be a two minute to three minute video not long right one at a time so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys on the next one